Labour Party calls on international community to defend democracy in Nigeria. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post how do you see news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The Labour Party LP has rejected the Supreme Court judgment affirming the victory of President Bola Tanabu, calling it shocking and surprising. In a statement, the Labour Party National Chairman Julius Aburi said the party was deeply disappointed by the verdict, which he described as a travesty of justice. Aburi accused the Supreme Court of being biased and being hijacked by the executive. He said the verdict was a sign that Nigeria was sliding towards dictatorship. Abura called on the international community to rise to education and defend democracy in Nigeria. He said that the international community should stand by the millions of Nigerians who were really pushed beyond their limits into unnecessary hardship and penury. Abura also urged Nigerians not to lose hope, adding that a new Nigeria is possible. The Apex Court dismissed an appeal followed by the Labour Party candidate Peter B and upheld the victory of President Bola Ahmed Tenubu in the presidential election held on February 25, 2023. Now, the thing is, the international community is not coming to save anyone. This does me break it to you guys. It is not happening. America did not come and knock on Nigerian door or African door as a continent when they were going through their own. That is just the truth. They will do nothing. Absolutely nothing. These people are not serious. What concerns the international community in our domestic affairs? Gullible, closed minded set of human beings. Congratulations to President Tinubu and may Almighty Ali. Almighty, may God Almighty guide and support this society. So let me bring it to you. The international community is not coming to save you. Nobody is coming to save you, Nigerians. It is actually you. No matter how broken you are, no matter how tired you are as a citizen of this country, you will still do what? You still work to make ends meet for yourself. That is what it means. I am sorry for Peter B, who desperately believed he won the presidential election. Those men of God who predicted the one deceived him so much that he lost his emotions and every other thing when he was not so declared. Let him prepare for 2027 when a big name will permanently seal his coffin against his ambition to assail the presidency. Well, uh, I don't think this is not a thing of what those prophets said or men of God or God of men or however you call it. That is not the issue. All right? The thing is, a lot of people were not happy with this particular administration. And the thing is, if a survey was a survey, a survey was taken, they take the survey and people were like, they don't want APC anymore. Do you understand? It was really blurry. Huh? That so called Abura should be arrested since the arrival of Obin to presidential election. This country has turned out to be something else. Please, we should not allow our country to turn into Biafra because Obi knew he didn't win the election. The government should arrest Abura and Obi. They are looking for a mandate that does not belong to them. Arrest Abura and Obi over what? <laughs> not even go there. Why are you speaking of sense like this? Because you have been buried by bats. That is why you are vomiting nonsense from your mouth. You better respect yourself. Partiality is not good in the face of God. Hardship is your gone in the last day. God will judge everybody. <laughs> okay. To me, like I said, what Abure said is not it's not it's not ideal. International community, let me shock you, it's not coming to save anyone. So Labour Party go and call the international community to come and defend your case. You were a bunch of failure. Apologize to Nigerians. To me. There is nothing the international community would do. This is not a case of the international community at all, at all. This is a lie. They will not defend democracy for you. It is your nation defend it. You understand? Now you have a problem.
In fact, go you to call the international community here to me. Now you have problem, now you still here. But they wanted to able to go to Nigeria so just to defend democracy. You should leave me alone. The Ibo man who even wants monkey banana from the zoo to rule Nigeria so that their interests will be protected. Exactly. You don't get it. You understand? Who is Aburi, a very corrupt man, still have mouth to talk? Why don't you and why don't you call the Russian president to come and settle Nigeria election matters? Uh-uh. <laughs> when I still they make unnecessary noise, I feel your pain. Labour Party will continue to labor in fear. Ah, all the things I'm saying here. My dear Abure, the international community is already occupied with the happenings in Israel and Ukraine. The Labour team did not do their due diligence. Rather, you people were busy, occupied with comments on the social media platform, thinking that it's how election cases are won in the court of law. But the courts believe in fact and evidence brought before it, not based on sentiments and emotion, trying to whip up public sympathy to score cheap political points, thereby giving your gullible one-way traffic bad wagon set of more followers fake hope that do not exist. So to me, this is what I'm going to tell the party. Look, you're bound to make mistakes. Whether I like it or not, this is actually the first time the Labour Party will come in and after them, they should clap to give themselves standing division. They tried. This is their first time. So, a lot of mistakes, a lot of things that they would have done that they did not do, a lot of things that they should not have done that they did. They should just pick their lessons, count their losses, and like somebody advised, prepare. If he, Obi is going to be running for presidency in 2027 or whenever, they should pick their lessons, you know, learn their lessons, make sure they learn from this particular one. Make sure they do. Okay, my brother, I put it to you that the Supreme Court is already working on a premeditated outcome because one, they are aware that INEC refused to release the needed documents to the Labour Party and was not scrutinized to bring out the fact needed. Also, they are aware that INEC denied their satisfied, certified true copies. The judges were also bribed. So in Nigeria, there is nothing they could have done. Believe you me, whatever the case, the case be, eh, in their coming out next time, that is Labour Party now. I believe that there are things that they would have learned. So there's nothing like that. There's nothing that they could have done. I'm sure they would know how well to go about this press. This is the first time Labour Party is coming out on this kind of, you know, huge platform. And this is the time, the first time they are going to court over an issue. So believe you me, there are limits to this. And of course, that is what I'm saying. They should count or pick their lessons. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy.